So this is a vessel tote and one of the things that I liked was learning. Uh, I saw the inside of the bag said filled with purpose. So in reading the tag and doing a little bit of research online, I learned that it's a um, buy a bag, give a bag program. So for every bag that's purchased, they donate a backpack to a child in need for school. So um, I thought that was really great. Initially, I thought it was a good size. Um, the color was a little interesting, um, not necessarily something I would have picked. And um, I did not like these padded straps, um, but my opinion on that has changed. But initially, I wasn't crazy about um, the stiffness and um, I liked the exterior pockets. This would probably be a good time to mention the back pocket has a, um, a zipper at the bottom which allows you to zip and unzip so that you can put it over your carry-on, um, which I thought was great once I learned how to use it. Um, demo. When you don't know how to use it and you fail to realize there's a zipper down there or you fail to zip it even after you've learned how to use it, then you're walking down the street and that's what happens. So um, that was a challenge. Now that I've figured that out, that is not an issue anymore. Um, once I'm not traveling with it, I just zip it back and it has two handy dandy exterior pockets. I wish one was a little bit larger so that you could fit a water bottle in it, um, but that's just not happening. I'm a trial lawyer and um, at times I have to carry massive boxes or wheelie bags much larger than this one. Um, which also makes it nice because when you are carrying a large uh, trial box, you can attach this through the, through the back as well. Um, this has been large enough to hold two or three large files with my computer and pins. Um, again, the padding kind of helping with the weight. Um, in general, it's just been a good to and from the office and an addition as far as, depending on the size of the file, uh, making it to and from court. After carrying it a little while, I realized that the padded straps really do uh, help with the weight on my shoulders and evenly distribute it. Uh, the two other bags that I carry have the larger, looser straps, and I now kind of realize annoyingly that one of them is always slipping off and kind of causing the bag to, to jut out. Um, I like the interior computer pocket, although I will warn that if your computer is much larger, um, then I think this one is a, a 12 or 13 inch that it's not going to fit. It's a pretty small pocket. Um, I like the handy dandy uh, key clip or you can put your, if you carry a, a wristlet or something, you can attach that. Um, and I, I like the company's mission, um, the fact that it has a charitable purpose. So at the end of the day, what I found is that I, in my closet, have three big bags that are kind of miscellaneous junk toters. Um, if somebody was looking for a large to medium size bag for professional purposes, I would definitely recommend this. Where I found that it didn't compete was like my giant leather bag that I'm willing to throw sunscreen in and take on the boat, um, that I'm willing to throw my purse in and a book and, you know, and take for a long weekend. Um, due to the structure and not just that, but the way you know it carries itself, this to me definitely falls under the category of more of a female, a more feminine briefcase. Um, and for somebody looking for something like that, or someone who is a road warrior and travels a lot, um, I had several people in the airport come up and ask me when this was attached to my carry-on, you know, where I found it because. Um, Really, that's a feature that you see in a lot of men's briefcases that you don't find often in feminine bags. So um, I would definitely recommend it. It's not going to be able to replace one of my other bags, but I think it will definitely have a role as far as traveling and um, you know, making appearances in court and back and forth to the office.